This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha and welcome to another episode of Hawaii Food and Farmers series where we talk to Hawaii's farmers, foodies, and really anyone that cares about Hawaii's agriculture future. I am your co-host for today, Matt Johnson, along here with Pomai. Hi. Uh, as always, you can join the conversation by tweeting it at thinktechhi, and you can actually even call in with your questions by calling in at the hotline 1-800-374-2014. Uh, so, Pomai, why don't you go ahead and introduce our guest for today. Okay, everyone, welcome back. This is my great friend farmer, John Augustine from Augustine Farms. <laughs> Why Manalo? Welcome, John. Oh, thank you for having me, Pomai. Yeah, thank, thank, thank you. you thank you, Matt. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Was that a good enough intro? Yeah, that was great. That, that was right. a great yeah. intro. Yeah. I mean, it was like, really? <laughs> Everyone's excited now. Definitely, yeah. So, uh, John, yeah, tell us a little bit about yourself. So, uh, and you've got the whole family. Unfortunately, they're not on camera just yet. But they have the whole family in the studio here. Yes. And, uh, yeah, what is uh, Augustine Family Farm? Augustine Family Farm, man, we started years and years ago just as a dream. We were living in Florida. Mm -hmm. And um, actually... What, what year was this? Uh... Well, actually going way back. So let's go way back. Let's go way back. So I took one of those tests in high school. You know, the, the like an IQ test? Yeah, no, like the, 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 the one, whatever you should be when you oh, grow yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I took one of those tests and it came back farmer. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. I'm not going to be a farmer. Mm -hmm. so, um, so I skipped that, you know, just yeah. went to college, did a bunch of other things. And it just kept gnawing at me. You know, I kept going, I do love to be outside. And I get off work and I go in my garden and just mess around, grow things. So it just kept gnawing on me, but um, pretty much when I became, I got really sick. So um, I got of life, just sick and yeah, tired. Yeah, just totally sick of life. <laughs> no, I um, you, I was, you literally got sick. Yeah, yeah, I got. I was diagnosed with cancer. Oh. So I had um, just this huge tumor. You know, just showed up out of the blue. Oh. And my wife's a nurse, and she said, you know, you need to go get this checked out, right? And I'm like, seriously? So I go to the doctor's office. Doctor walks in. He takes one look at me, and he grabs the phone and goes, you need to go stat, get a CT scan, all this other oh, stuff. Geez. And I said, oh my goodness. So my life Life just changed overnight. I had surgery, um, had uh, you know all the radiation after that, and then it even came back for a second time. Oh, geez. So years later, so I started thinking, you know, what is going on? Like, where did this come from, and why is it around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I started thinking about the food that I'm eating, and started You're watching not documentaries. That old of a person, oh, yeah. So know. the doctors they started just scratching their heads, or sending me to Mayo Clinic, and. Um, you know, so I was just like this, this, uh, this spectacle where I'm, you know, these yeah. doctors are just checking me out, going, "What's going on?" Huh. So I just started thinking about, you know, pesticides and eating, what I've been eating growing up, mm -hmm. and just wanted to radically change everything. And I just told my wife one day, I said, "I just, th this is it. We're changing everything, and let's just go be farmers." And uh, wait, so what were you doing before? So you took, you took this aptitude or life test. I think we all take that test. Yeah, I, think mine I don't came know. Back, <laughs> mine came back to be a police officer. Oh, really? <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. I don't know, maybe someday. Way off, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, maybe that's how you perfect. felt. Maybe that's perfect. how you felt about being a farmer. You're going to get there. Yeah, yeah. You know, maybe, I don't know. What, what, what did yours go back? Teacher. Okay. Nice. And you're yeah. you're kind of right teaching. Right I can see that. Yeah. 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 Nice. <laughs> Yeah. So, so you, so you didn't follow this this guidance of initially being a farmer. What were you doing? Well, right out of right out of college, I got into radio, and uh, somebody in my class. Did you hear that said, radio voice? They said I kept that <laughs> radio voice. I kept I like raising it. my hand, and one girl said after class, she goes, "You talk so much, and you sound like an old retired game show host." <laughs> she said, "It is hilarious. You need to go into and, and like volunteer at the at the college radio stage." I said, "Okay, I'll do it." Bob Barker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if that's people, an insult or what, yeah. but or maybe more of a passing joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, that's more of what I'm hearing. <laughs> So it just sort of led into uh, a career in radio, which I absolutely loved. I did that in, in Florida. And uh, that led into um, working for a nonprofit. I was mm -hmm. doing PR and marketing and, and things like that. So you like, like people? 
I do. You're yeah. a farmer that likes people. That's right, yeah. That's so new school. And I just want to be outside. And, and you want to be outside, yeah. <laughs> and you brought your whole family. You have a yeah. whole troop. Can you tell us a little bit about how it went from Augustine Family Farms? Like, Yeah, we, we wrestled with the name. You know, we went round and round, and then... Um, we just thought this is a family thing. We couldn't have done it. I couldn't have done it by myself. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just it's it's my wife and I as a team, and and the boys are definitely involved. We have three little boys. They're three, six, nine years old, mm -hmm. and we just wanted them to grow up, run around on a farm, Production playing beast. around, yeah, doing all <laughs> kinds of things. Oh, you can see some pictures of right oh. there. there we are at, the, uh, at the farmers market in Waimanalo. Oh, yeah, it looks uh, like it's right by the co-op. Yeah. Yes. And they love planting different things. They love trying different things. That's some gorgeous stuff there. What, yep. What's all in the picture there? Uh, we've got see some radishes, all kinds of different lettuce, things. Yeah, some kales, got... some rocks. <laughs> some of some rocks to hold our, <laughs> our homemade sign down. How much do you, some how much you sell those rocks for a pound for? Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. They look great, though. Those they could look... go fast, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then what, what brought you folks to Hawaii? Um, we lived on Kauai, my wife and I, before we had children okay. uh, for a brief stint and absolutely fell in love with Hawaii. And um, we, we made the mistake of leaving once mm -hmm. and uh, we just kept talking about trying to get back. There's something very special about this place mm -hmm. and just felt that it was our home and this is where we wanted to raise our boys. And um, so we finally, basically when it came time to really go for it, we... Um, we sold just about everything we owned in Florida. We sold my truck, sold the my wife's van. We had three garage sales, and the night before we left, we had our tickets. We sold our TV. It was the last thing that went out the oh, door. We had a couple yeah. bags packed, and just got on a plane and basically the just got here, went to Waikiki, stayed in a yeah. in a room off the bat, and yeah. looked for a place to live. And um, How just really just, you know, knew I wanted to do Go Farm. That was like the one thing I knew I wanted to do. Oh, so you and knew about Go Farm before you moved back to Oahu? I did, okay. yeah. Oh. So I learned about it. I did some Googling, you know, just kind of went, went around and uh, said, how can I figure out how to do this? So you kind of had this vision of right. like, okay, we want to move to back to Hawaii, Hawaii yeah. bring the whole family, mm -hmm. and get back, you know, really getting the farming. Yes. And so you learned about this Go Farm program. So we've definitely had guests before, uh, including Pumai on the show, talking about yeah. Go Farm. But <laughs> what, what is Go Farm for anyone who isn't a, maybe a regular viewer. Yeah, Go Farm is perfect for somebody like me coming from a different job where, you know, I had a garden. I knew how to grow a few things, but definitely not a farmer. So taking somebody who knows nothing about farming, teaching them throughout the course of a year all sorts of different things from pest management to, you know, the, the field work and what to grow and marketing and everything else uh, and building up a farming business and to become a commercial grower and then to actually get the land. So we start, we get in, in and start growing pretty much uh, almost day one in the program and then now I've reached I've graduated from the Go Farm program and I'm in what's called the incubator side of things yeah. where I've got a plot for about three years now to continue to grow. What year are you on? I'm uh, in year one of oh, my incubator. So okay. yeah, we started so gotta, in the summertime. Yeah, so you yeah. got a couple more years yep. in there to just yeah. flourish yeah. and grow. <laughs> uh, any, any specific things that you like growing or you see grow well in the area? Why oh, I love growing all kinds of oh. things. We're growing just about every vegetable we can think of. We've mm -hmm. got um, banana trees, we've got papaya trees, we've got a huge patch of lily koi that we really love. Mm -hmm. And uh, But we're super excited about our salad greens right now. We're mm -hmm. just growing all kinds of different stuff and putting together these beautiful bags and pretty much the, the kids will love eating it as well. So that gets me excited. Mm -hmm. Great, people love it. They do, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Where Definitely can they find you? Uh, they could find us at the Waimanalo Farmer's Market on Friday nights. It's called Mamona Nights. Oh, yes. I was going to say that <laughs> Mamona Nights. 4 to 6 p.m. There's live music. There's a cakey corner. Our have boys you ever are been? always running around. Actually, I haven't been. I know. I we feel like we it. need to field trip yes. to Mamona <laughs> Nights. <laughs> We also sell through a small CSA. Uh, a lot of the folks that were with me from the Go Farm days uh, when I was doing it as a student have stuck with me. And so oh. we're, we're able to grow that a little bit and uh, offer you know um, weekly bags of whatever's fresh. And then we also do uh, sell on FarmLink, which is a great way of getting it out to different restaurants yeah, and things yeah, like yeah. that. So, mm -hmm. 
Nice. Yeah. So, so, so you pretty much you kind of dropped your you know previous career mm -hmm. doing nonprofits and right. doing your your radio voice, which I'm glad you're able to <laughs> use here on the show. Yeah. Uh, you could definitely maybe be a host in the future and right, even right. have your own show. Oh, something to think you. about. <laughs> We're always looking for new recruits. We really are <laughs> always always out there looking for talent. Oh, you thank know. you. <laughs> and so this is pretty much your your full time gig now. This is yeah. I left everything and just went went forward 100% with farming and so we really hope to uh, continue to grow, continue to make the business successful here and just something to pass down to the kids one day. That's what I really, really hope for and yeah. uh, hopefully we could continue to grow on land as well. So after these three years we'll see where we could be, mm -hmm. you know, full time after that and just looking forward to continuing to supply the community with lots and lots of good fresh veggies. Yeah. Well, John, let's talk a little bit more. I, I know we have a little bit more time before the break, but uh, talk a little bit more about the GoFarm program specifically, because what what you did is pretty drastic. You yes. know, um, probably some people called you crazy for what you did, yeah. where you kind of have this <laughs> career and you're doing certain things, and then you're like, you know what? I'm moving to Hawaii. Yeah. I'm going to become a farmer. Right. Which not a lot of people really do, um, and and there's a lot of just inherent challenges with that. So. How, I mean, so, and, and, and now you're in a position where you're doing it, you're making right. it work. So obviously this program that you went through was super helpful. What, oh, yeah. Talk a little bit about some of the specifics of what, I mean, what do they really do that was like very valuable for you? Oh yeah, well, definitely everyone thought I was completely nuts. <laughs> um, you know, our friends and our family with these you know, zippered up suitcases that go, we're really and going. Grow the beer. Yeah, and there's a, yeah, they're growing a beer now. That, <laughs> yeah. You know, it's just, um, there was a chance that it wouldn't happen, you know, so mm -hmm. that was that was kind of the scary thing, getting off an airplane and going, well, this could this could not work out. Um, there, there's a lot of people who try to get into the Go mm -hmm. Farm program, and I was uh, right because it's um, not even guaranteed that you get right. into the program. Yeah, and I didn't know that until um, <laughs> a little bit after I signed up. So <laughs> I didn't realize how competitive it was. So then I started thinking, Wow, I really, really need to get moving on this thing. Oh, we're really doing research, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like you know, uh, I'm, but I just moved the whole family <laughs> over from Florida. I gave up my career, <laughs> moved to Hawaii. Uh, oh yeah, there's an. <laughs> Yeah. It's a pretty intense it's, it's process. It's persuasive yeah. like that, you know? <laughs> so the pressure was on. Yeah. So, um, you know, I really put my head in the books, and I really, really tried as absolutely as hard as I could. And, uh, you know, starting farming when you turn 40 is probably not the best idea ever. I could have probably done a lot but better happens. in my 20s. But it happens. It works. Yeah. I mean, it works. I feel yeah. like it's it. a lot of people are looking. I mean, you were looking for quality of life, yes, you know? Exactly. So that yeah. that's sort of... And you didn't want to just be a gardener. Yes. You know, you wanted yeah. to kind of up the ante exactly. a little bit. So. And that's what Go Farm really helps me do is they're, they're looking for people who really don't want to just learn more of how to become a successful gardener, but how to really start a farm and, and be a business. Mm -hmm. and, um, and that's really what I was looking for. So, you know, from everything, understanding seeds and, and propagation and, and what to grow and different uh, pests that are that are battling us out in Waimanalo, uh, the, the ones that we're fighting against, and uh, watering versus overwatering, and, and all the different ins and outs of everything. They really take us through it step by step. So it's kind of gradual, and then we hit, hit, the, hit the dirt. We start with two rows, and, um, and we move up. Now I've got a quarter acre, mm -hmm. so it's just, um, I now it's I think the network is also, I've noticed that the network of farmers and being with oh, other absolutely. farmers really helps like the learning process and that sense of like farming community because yes. you're not the only one yeah. who is crazy and, and we've got, to be a farmer. And we've got ongoing support too yeah. like you you're able to help us out ongoing and, um, great people that I could call or text we're always asking each other questions and uh, the neat thing about the ag land out in Waimanalo is we could see each other from our plots too yeah, so we could yeah. you know wave across and our, <laughs> our kids are playing together hey and, neighbor do you right. have any kale yeah. <laughs> yeah we could trade things and work cool. together in different ways so 
It's been, it's been amazing. I definitely wouldn't be where I am without GoFarm. <laughs> yes. That's exactly what I like. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Just want to make sure everyone heard that. Yeah. Yeah. This is really just a commercial for GoFarm. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. We expect the sponsorship to, to pay for all this. A 30-minute 30 30 long, a 30-minute yeah, yeah, yeah. long so, ad. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, this is perfect. But unfortunately, we do have to take a commercial break for okay. our sponsors. Yeah. Uh, which hopefully someday will be GoFarm. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we'll give us one minute and we'll be right back. to the game and it's gonna be great early arriving for a little tailgate i usually drink but won't be drinking today because i'm the designated driver and that's okay it's nice to be the guy that keeps his friends in line keeps him from drinking too much so we can have a great time a little responsibility can go a long way because it's all about having fun on game day i'm the guy you want to be i'm the guy saving money i'm the guy with the h2o and i'm the guy that says let's go Back to White Food and Farmer Series. I am your host today, Matt Johnson, and uh, we're talking to John Augustine and the Augustine family. We actually have a couple more members of the Augustine family farm who have just joined us. So we have Brandy, and we also have Ian, who joined us on the show. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us. Yep, <laughs> Ian, give a, a wave to your fans. Say hi. Big, big, big shaka, Hello. big wave. Maybe a kiss. I don't know. Yeah. Lots of fans out there. Um, so, yeah, so we were just talking to John uh, about the uh, adventure uh, moving from Florida and kind of having a, a big life change and moving the whole family out here to Hawaii, uh, going through the Go Farm program and now uh, running the family farm. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, super exciting. I uh, can't wait to read the book that you're going to write one day. <laughs> uh, I'm sure that's definitely in the, uh, in the works. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we want to hear a little bit from, from Brandy. Uh, so this is kind of like not just John running this operation, but a real family effort. And I imagine there's uh, a lot of pros and cons that come with that, some challenges, but also some real exciting things. So yeah, we'd love to hear from you, Brandy, just kind of uh, how's it been for you? Is this, did you also take that, that test when you were younger and determined that you wanted to be a farmer? Absolutely not. <laughs> no, no. So, um, you know, John, as he mentioned, went through several illnesses, and um, it was one day that he said to me, I want to be a farmer. And I said, oh, well, you don't know how to be a farmer. 
<laughs> if you can figure out a way to be a farmer, I'll support you. So I see the, the practical one. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. So um, he, he figured it out and he found this program and we had lived in Kauai, loved it here. Mm -hmm. um, and back we came with three little boys in tow. Mm -hmm. um, so luckily I um, have a profession. I'm a nurse practitioner, could find a job here to come back and support our family. Um, but it was it was all him um, just <laughs> wanting to pursue this dream that I was very supportive of wow. um, watching him through every step of the way before but Brandy's out there with us she's our official weed puller she absolutely okay. loves I love picking weeds <laughs> oh, wow <laughs> on the weekends that's, that's my rare, therapy which is the uh, best uh, thing I could ask for yes. in a wife it's, yes. she, it's it's fantastic <laughs> she's like just put me out there tell me which <laughs> road to hit and I'm gonna put my head down and just pick weeds okay and it's Awesome. <laughs> I'm sure it's a nice change too from the work you do, which I imagine is very stressful or yes. handy. Yeah. So yes. it's probably therapeutic when you get to come out to the fields yes. and uh, don't have to have the weeds talking back to you or right. screaming or yelling. <laughs> yes. So uh, I can imagine how it's nice. Yes. Well, and I, I take care of people at the end of life. So I see what John is doing is starting life yeah. and yeah. helping to support life. So I feel like we kind of have that whole circle of life. Like whole circle, circle of life. Thing. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We got the kids out music. there running yes. out. And it's, it's great because our two older boys who aren't on camera now, they're um, six years old and nine years old, so mm -hmm. kindergarten nine. and third grade. They love coming out there after school, on the weekends, after soccer. Yeah. So they're always out there having helping us plant and harvest and all kinds of fun things. And then this guy right here, this is little Ian. He's three years old. And basically he and I and our puppy dog fire up the truck in the morning and head out there yeah. together and get to yeah. work just about every day we're together out there there so um, and you eat broccoli like a lollipop right <laughs> oh wow you just yeah if they're helping us pick right food there. they're they're eating it as we go so oh. it's super cool to see that yeah what a great way to I imagine to get kids like excited and interested <laughs> in you know t I, mean, I was telling Ian earlier uh, saying how when I was his age I hated broccoli right. so it's, it's fascinating to hear that these kids are, are super into it oh there, there he is, is out in the yeah. field he's picking green beans yeah and eating probably half of them yeah yeah it's like pick one eat one is, <laughs> exactly. that, is that how you work Ian yeah yeah <laughs> they gotta get paid somehow yeah <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, so I mean, that's great. So it's obviously um, an alternative to putting the in in uh, like preschool, like preschool or, yeah. or daycare or whatever you typically yeah. have to do. So he's out there just like running a, around barefoot and, and planting things with me. Mm -hmm. So we learn our ABCs in the dirt. Right. Right. <laughs> this is yeah. probably the cleanest he's been in the longest time. <laughs> he yeah. took a bath just yeah. for this. So. <gasps> awesome. <laughs> So uh, you were talking before about you know some of the ways you guys are selling your products. So you're uh, doing a CSA, which sounds like it's working out really well. Yes. Um, you also have the um, working with the co-op a little bit and going to some farmers markets and uh, working with FarmLink, getting your products online. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, so where do you? So you kind of start off with this uh, egg incubator program, and you're on a quarter acre of land now. Mm -hmm. Where do you want this to go? What's your? What's the the vision for the family? Are you going to kind of keep it small? Are you going to become a, a mega farm and take over the entire windward side of Oahu? <laughs> I have, what, what I have you... no dreams of us becoming a, a mega farm, but mm -hmm. I'd like to say small. Um, three to five acres has always been our dream. Yeah. Uh, to have some animals on there uh, one day and have a market garden and um, just growing just the, the healthiest organic food that we possibly can, getting it out to the community. Uh, continuing with the CSA, with the farmers markets and different avenues like that. I'd love to be in a few restaurants, uh, talking to a variety of chefs and things. And, um, but just continuing to, to take some cautious steps ahead. We've got about two more solid years where we are now, mm -hmm. so I don't need to worry about this land This is on the, just the land yet. as part of the incubator program yes. in Wamanalo. So we've got the quarter acre for, for that long, and then um, after that we'll start looking okay. for something a little bigger and more long-term. Do you have any ideas? I was just talking about this with uh, a group the other day. Um, you know, accessing land. So mm -hmm. it's great that you're able to start with this Go Farm program, but mm -hmm. uh, any ideas where you might look uh, in the future? I mean, I know it's a couple of years off, but yes. 
Uh, where, where would you look? I'd love to stay in Waimanalo. I love mm -hmm. that area. Um, there's also, um, you know, the state-owned ag land, the Kamehameha yeah. Schools land, yeah. things like that. I think would be perfect for us. Mm -hmm. So maybe more moving more up up towards the north end of the oh, island, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe in Kuhuku, something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But uh, we're pretty much open to anything at this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then, do you guys have like um, a specialty or a crop that you guys are kind of getting more excited about that is kind of what you hope to focus on or is it still just kind of a little bit of this a little bit of that it's a little bit of this a little bit of that but our lily koi has been really selling mm. well that's yes. super super popular and we actually just started um, planting a huge section uh, dedicated just to salad greens um, just all different types and salanova lettuce and and uh, so we're really going to push forward on that and that's something we really love to bring to market and can't wait to put in the CSA bags for the spring yeah, um, yeah. and I'd love to talk to some chefs about that as well and, and talk a little bit about your uh, CSA program because um, you know, we've definitely spoken about CSA on here before but I like how the way you guys are doing it where you have kind of a, a group of solid members that are sticking mm -hmm. with you and you guys kind of go through seasons yeah where we do. you'll get um, payment up front or, or mm -hmm. how does it work? Yeah, a lot of the folks that were um, serving through our CSA have stuck with us from the uh, beginning of the Go Farm days. And yeah, so uh, what, they've what, told their friends and yeah, it's grown yeah, yeah. from there. And um, it, it pretty much be a weekly bag, um, you know, reusable bag. Uh, right at the beginning of the week, we'll do like an eight week or a 10 week run. And <laughs> Ian shave wants ice. shave ice. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, um, you, guys, you guys grow that on the farm? We, we oh. promised them that if he did well, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, we'll take either payment right up front or some folks will pay us, uh, you know, at the door. They'll come over to the house and mm -hmm. grab their bag and uh, drop us the cash right there and, and take it home. And then I love talking through email about what, what they're doing with it. We'll send out different ideas for recipes. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah, just yeah. such a cool way to, to find new and upcoming vegetables, you know, yeah, different yeah, things, yeah. That, fancy things and super cool things. And, um, you know, kohlrabi is one of our favorites now, making chips out of that oh, and, wow. and doing different things. So, yeah, 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 we're super excited about the, uh, the CSA aspect of it all. Cool, mm -hmm. very neat. Um, so kind of thinking ahead a little bit, um, you know, we're kind of talking about you know, what you guys are doing and in Manalo and connected with the uh, GoFarm community. What other, you know, wh what do you see as, um, you know, how could the ag community in Hawaii become even stronger? What, what kind of things do you see that are, are really needed? Um, well, land always needed, um, mm -hmm. you know, just good affordable land where we could continue growing on. Um, I and think you mentioned a couple, um, so there's a Department of Ag, the Hawaii mm -hmm. Department of Ag has some ag parks yes. throughout the state, so there's that one in Waimanalo. Mm -hmm. um, do, you, do you know anything about that? Um, are there plots available? Is it uh, good land, or do you, do you know anything? I believe about it's it? good land, definitely mm -hmm. good quality land. I know that you can bid on it when the when the time comes. Yeah. So I've got to become a bona fide farmer first, which is having three years under my belt. Okay, so um, you're going to be there. So at I'll the be, end of the, yeah, the lease. yeah. I'll keep keep plugging along, keep doing the best that I can, and hopefully get to that point one day. Yeah. And then through um, Kamehameha Schools, we've got different opportunities there. Yeah. So it does seem like. Uh, there is a push to keep ag land, ag land, which yeah. which I love, mm -hmm. and uh, the community, the the ag community has been nothing but supportive. Every time I meet fellow farmers, uh, uh, they're just so excited, and yeah. you know, it's never like get out of my space. You know, yeah, we don't yeah, need yeah. any more farmers. It's right. like welcome aboard, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's one of the things I love the most about farming is uh, we all become just like best friends just off the bat. Community. You know, yeah, yeah. And just super excited and, and sharing ideas and you know encouraging one another and it's it's super hard work but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. you know at the end of the day it's it's something we're we're all really proud of and uh, we got to stick together and just help each other out. Well, cool, awesome, John. Yeah, what a great story. I'm very yeah, excited to hear about this change that you've made and it sounds like a lot of good things are happening. Oh, definitely. And I'm excited yeah. to check back in with you next year and then see where you're at. Thank you, man. And, Thank uh, you. Yeah, we yeah. lost Brandy and Ian. We did. Brandy was getting a little rowdy, <laughs> right. so we had to uh, <laughs> kick her off the set. Yeah, yeah. Um, you so can yeah. imagine my three-year-old co-worker, what that's like every day. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, yo, Dad, let's go get some shit Right, guys. exactly, yeah. Hey, that's enough. Let's wrap do? this up, Dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> well, yeah, thank you so much. And thank you once again, uh, Hawaii Food and Farmer Series. We're here every other Thursday. So we'll see you two weeks from now. Thank you and aloha.